let me put it this way. I would never encourage anyone to go on that show. And remember, all that glitters is not gold. Winky face. Manipulation, crying emoji. Okay, so we were hoping that Peter was going to go to paradise. We know he's not going now, but now Mm -hmm. he's actually speaking out and revealing the reason why he's happy he dodged a bullet and didn't go to paradise. After Gabby and Rachel's premiere, when Clayton was dragged through the mud, It kind of was eye-opening to Peter that producers are kind of full of it. I am so damn happy I did not go on Paradise because I had a long talk with uh, one of the producers and I was just like, man, these people are just full of it. Full of it. Literally try to convince me here. They're like, listen, we know that, you know, there's not the best relationship we have with Bachelor, with previous Bachelors, especially like on the guy side, right? Maybe not so much Bachelorette side, but on the Bachelor side, you know, they were telling me like, we acknowledge that we can see that. We understand that the, you know, Bachelor Nation sees it and for whatever reason, these relationships kind of sour post, you know, being The Bachelor. And they're like, we are actively trying to change that. We we don't want that to be the case anymore. And that was like a, I would maybe say like a recruitment tool to try to get me to, you know, agree to do Paradise. Like, listen, we, we have your back now. We got your, we're, we're on your side. And then I see, and I wanted to believe it, right? And then I see this, I'm like, holy shit, thank God I just dodged a bullet. Like it, it's just, I don't, I don't understand it. it move on, you know, don't be showing this guy so much hate. Yes, did he do things, you know, perfect? Of course not. Are are Gabby and Rachel going to do things perfect? Of course not. They're already admitting here on the on the first episode that you know, oh, you can see how it's easy to fall for more than one person. But I don't know. I didn't like it. It was some cheap shots, and um, I didn't think it was necessary. I think it's hilarious that Peter says, for whatever reason, they don't have a great relationship with the bachelors. It's like, what do you mean for whatever? Re- and, and it's not Peter saying that it's him saying that the producer said that. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know why. What do you mean? You don't know why you have been, especially for the past few seasons, going out of your way to not only like slander your bachelors, but like go so far to like ruin their potential for relationships. I mean, I think it's really hard to trust these people when you know they can say, we have your back. Why didn't you have my back before? Why did you exploit me before? Like, how am I supposed to just trust that you have my back now? And to further, like, kind of shed light on maybe what Peter's experience was like, because we've never had Peter on the podcast. I have a gazillion and one questions for him. But so I was reaching out to potential guests the other day for the podcast and who responded to me, but none other than sweet nums. And so I had reached out to her just being like, everyone for for people that don't know, for people that don't know, sweet nums is Barb Peter's mom's Instagram handle. Um, so I had just asked her like, Hey, we would love to interview you for she's all batch. And she just said, hi, Jackie, I'm sorry, but I don't associate myself with the show. And I said, totally get that. No worries. We like to take a different angle than a normal recap podcast and would like to ask about production manipulation and other background things. Not sure if that changes your decision, but totally understood if you've moved on from all that. And she goes, let me put it this way. I would never encourage anyone to go on that show. And remember, all that glitters is not gold. Winky face. Manipulation crying emoji. And then I just kind of said, totally agreed. We're shocked by some of the things we've heard interviewing past contestants. Well, if you ever change your mind, let me know. I'd love to hear your side of the story. And she just said, of course, wishing much success. Aw, Barb. I love Barb so much. I know. 